Hey y'all, it's me Joy. I was driving, I was just thinking. There's a scripture in the Bible that, that talks about don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You know how you felt in that relationship. You know you was miserable. You know that that relationship was one-sided. You know it was one-sided. You know you cried to God to get you out of this mess. And God got you out. Why would you go back into that same bondage? Bondage. Matter of fact, it's never the same. It's, it's worse always. God got you out of that mess. Stay free. Don't go back again into that yoke of bondage, into that misery, into that loveless affair, into that loveless relationship. Don't return. Don't return. Remember the tears that you cried. Remember the prayers that you prayed. Remember how lonely you were in that relationship. You left God for that person and look how lonely they made you feel. And you are contemplating on going back? I didn't come on here to preach. I just came on here to tell you, stay free. Don't go back again into, into that bondage. Don't go back. Every last one of us got some kind of testimony where we went back into some mess. And let me say this real quick. I remember I had this boyfriend when I was, I was just turned 15 years old. He was 17. He was an abuser to the utmost. He was, he was, he was, he was, had all kind of women, all kind of diseases, actually doing crack. I found him doing drugs out of, smoking crack out of a can. And I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about how abusive he was to me. He would choke me and leave his, he had long nails just like these. He would choke me and leave his nail print in my neck scratching me he was just dirty he talked to me like I wasn't wasn't nothing so God got me out of that mess he slapped me one day for no reason he slapped me so hard I, I know I saw stars because I can remember the sky that day how that sky looked that night then before I could even catch my breath from the first slap that joker turned around and slapped me again that was the last night he ever put his hands on me now he want to cry and, and all that stuff. It was too late. God got me out of that mess. So when I turned 22, he tried to come back in my life. But then God sent Greg along. Why would I even consider that mess? Why would I even consider going back to him? I'm going to tell you why. Because we don't have enough patience to wait on God to send us the right person. We rushing into things because of lonely, loneliness and vulnerability because of insecurity and low self-esteem. Let me tell you something. Do you think that it would have been better or worse if I had went back with that guy? It would, of course it would have been worse. So this is what I want to say. Don't return to your vomit. Stop having pity on your abuser. Stop going back into those relationships that God delivered you from. Okay? I love you all. I just wanted to share that. God bless. I love y'all. Y'all know I do.